project at the end of the tunnel started in early 2020. It was the first lockdown. And obviously there was a lot of time spent at home, so I thought I'd buy a VR headset. So I started using it to mainly view regular types of film. But then I got into the VR stuff. I was really impressed with the 3D content. It was a 3D that was completely different from anything I'd ever seen before. You know, the classic films in 3D like Avatar and such. Uh, this was a different experience. Most of the contests that were out there were mostly documentary. So I thought to myself, can we tell a story you would normally tell with, with cinematic tools with this technology? I started experimenting with VR cameras, see what was possible. We had the script, the script from the end of the tunnel. At some point I, I thought, well, well, why not? Uh, let's, let's do this. We started thinking about uh, custom setup rigs and uh, how to shoot the scenes and what was the kind of language that we wanted to use. The difficult aspect is that you have almost everything in shot. So it's kind of difficult to do the typical things you would do on a normal film. So it's totally different. It's, something completely new, but the first results of the shooting outside in London at night were really pretty amazing. And I think that in the end we did something, I mean, you don't really see a lot of contents like this, like a supernatural horror film with this style okay, okay. and this kind of narration, I think. You don't see a lot of things like this. I put in the film all the fears that are out there in our society these days. Basically, the fear of the future. In present times, it is difficult to imagine um, where we are going. We all feel a little bit lost. So I think it is crucial to make an effort to try and imagine the future. I hope it's an interesting point from which to start and discover a new world.